Hello everyone, my name is Ronan. I work here at the Colony Public Library. Today we're continuing our videos on science experiments learning about weather and air. Do you remember what we call scientists that study the weather and study air? They're called meteorologists. So we're going to be meteorologists again today. and We're going to study how air behaves. So in last video we talked about what happens when air interacts with warm en environments and cold environments. Do you remember what happens? So when air gets warm, it expands. It pushes against the other air molecules. And then when air gets cold, it condenses and it comes nice and tight and close together. So in this video, we're going to talk about what happens when that warm air mass and that cold air mass mix and they come together. And we'll see it in our experiment. We can actually visualize it. So we can't see air, right? Air is invisible to us. But we can see water. And water and air are both called fluids. So that means they'll behave in a similar way. So if we color different temperatures of water, then we can see how that behaves when they interact, and we can know that that's how that warm and cold air would also interact. So let's get started on our experiment today. We'll need some really warm water. So this can be basically almost boiled. So please have an adult help you to boil some water, either from a kettle or on the pot or something. Um, and we will dye it red with red food coloring. And we also need some blue ice. So this actually needs to be done ahead of time. So either overnight or a few hours before you want to do this experiment, you get your ice cube tray, put some blue food coloring in the blue ice or in the ice and it will turn blue when it freezes. So prepare that ahead of time and then come back and watch this video. And so we have our hot water which is red, our ice cold water in blue, and we need a plastic container like a shoebox size container with some just regular lukewarm water from your sink. Once you have all those ready, we can get started on our experiment. All right, so before we get started on our experiment, let's make a hypothesis. Do you remember that word hypothesis? That means a scientific guess. So we need to make a guess on what will happen when we mix the blue cold water with the red hot water. So you can either write this down in a scientific notebook, you can tell an adult that's with you or your sibling, or you can keep it in your head. But either way, let's think of a hypothesis. Let's think about what will happen when these two different temperatures of water will mix. All right, do you have one? Okay, so we want to kind of add these around the same time, so I have someone helping me. So I'm going to take the blue ice water and the red hot water and mix them around the same time without disturbing the water. Are we ready? Let's mix. Let's put another ice cube in. So now let's just observe with our eyes and see what happens when these two different temperatures of water meet and interact. So do you notice how the blue cold water is staying close to the bottom. It's not even going up to the top at all. It's staying on the bottom of the container. And the red hot water is only at the top of the water. It's not going down to the bottom at all. And then as they mix, they don't mix together. There is a clear line of separation of the hot and cold water. And that cold water is kind of pushing against the hot water, pushing against that red warm water, and keeping it at the top of the container. So we made our observations on what happens when that cold water and that warm water meet. And so remember, this is just a model. So we're not really caring about how cold and warm water interact, but we're caring about how cold and warm air interact. But since water and air are both fluids, they would behave in a very similar way. So we saw how the cold water stayed on the bottom, the warm water stayed on top. The cold water even kind of kept pushing against the warm water to keep it on top. So this is called convection. Convection is how heat interacts in a fluid. So remember that word fluid. So in water and in air, that is how heat would behave, where the cold air stays on the bottom, the warm air stays on top. And in meteorology, we use the terms cold air mass and warm air mass. So when those cold and warm air masses meet, the cold pushes against the warm and pushes it to the top, and the cold stays on the bottom. In meteorology, we also call that a cold front. Have you heard of that before? If you listen to the weather report, that might sound really familiar, a cold front. So that cold air mass comes in out of nowhere and pushes against that warm air mass and 
we will see in our next video what happens to that warm air mass once it's pushed to the top of the atmosphere. So I hope you had a lot of fun in this experiment, got to see some really cool visuals, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!